everyone. Welcome to my first uh, forever training here on Zoom. So what I've decided to do, I know many of you have um, that are watching this have forever accounts. Maybe you have your uh, free two gigabyte trial account that you're just learning or checking things out. Um, maybe a friend sent it to you. And then I also have some of you I know that have been probably using forever for a few months or the uh, past year. Um, I just truly appreciate each and every one of you. What I've decided to do is go ahead and do some mini trainings. Uh, I know everyone's time is precious and um, I do offer a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call. Feel free to schedule that with me. I'd be happy to walk you through. Um, but what I wanna do here is just have some small, maybe few five minute uh, trainings going over your account so that you can just pop on, watch them when you have time, um, just to get an overview of how to use your account. There is so much in Forever. I know I've been using Forever for over a year now, um, just over a year with our own personal family photos. And I some days I still am learning. Um, but what I wanna do today is just give you a brief overview of um, the when you log into Forever. So when you first log into Forever, you'll notice a few things across the top. And today, um, in this training, I wanna just focus on this blue ribbon at the very top of your um, screen. Uh, whenever you wanna come back to the home screen, you just click on the Forever, and that will bring you right back to this home screen. And there are a few things going on here. Uh, this rotating image is usually of the deals that are, the specials that are happening, anything new that's come out. Um, so you'll check here for those items. And then along the bottom, it just takes you to various trainings. Uh, picture this with Abby. She has, I think she's now up to maybe 70, uh, mini trainings just like this that I'm doing with you. Uh, she has done a video on just about everything with Forever. So if you want to go check this link out, it takes you, you can search for um, trainings on specific items within Forever. And then if you ever need help, please feel free to reach out to me. Don't ever hesitate uh, to give me a call or email me. But also uh, customer support with Forever is phenomenal. Whenever I've had a um, question or maybe something printed incorrectly, I contact them and they get it taken care of right away. Uh, one of the reasons I actually decided to go with Forever is they are a um, company out of Pennsylvania and a mentor of mine, she's a photographer, uh, she had told us about Forever a few years back. And the company is, is just like you and I, they are a, while they are a small, a large company, um, they are like a small company. You could get a hold of them at any time. I'm on calls with Teams and the, um, the owner. I'm on with Glenn Meekum. I highly recommend reading his story or watching his story when you get a chance. Um, but again, customer support, very easy um, to get a hold of. So when you scroll down, there are other items on this screen um, to learn about the history of the company, the guarantee. Uh, if you ever want to know about how a company can guarantee permanent storage for your lifetime plus 100 years, uh, you just want to scroll all the way to the bottom of that home screen and check out the forever guarantee. Um, if you click on that, it will take you to a wealth of information and, and how they preserve our memories and again, this is what we use for our personal memories uh, and being in the photography business for over 20 years. Uh, we've never depended on a storage account or a cloud um, storage for our memories. We have in-house servers, but we've always had triple backup on our family photos. And we truly now forever is one of those backups for our personal and our um, clients as well. We're starting to use this for our clients as well. So again, you just click on the forever and we're going to focus on the blue ribbon across the top here. And I'm just going to briefly introduce each um, item to you. And, and these items are basically when you're going to search for, um, for items, like you're shopping for something in forever. Um, when you, the first item preserve and organize, this is where most people start out with forever. You want to start, um, 
organizing your photos, bringing your photos into forever, and you want to preserve them for your uh, children, your family, and uh, generations beyond. So when you click on preserve and organize, this is where you will actually choose your storage account. So you don't rent this. This isn't a monthly um, fee that you get that you have to pay like in iCloud. Um, and eventually I think now Google is going to start charging uh, for you to store your images up in the cloud. Uh, but this is a, you, pu you purchase this one time and you own it forever. So again, we don't rent storage, we own it. Guar it's guaranteed for many generations and I highly recommend um, you checking out how that's possible with the forever guarantee. There's no data mining and advertising. Google is a great um, storage, Google, Amazon, uh, iCloud, all have their own storages that you can use to back up your photos, but most of them are not private and they are uh, not guaranteed for your lifetime. So check this out, data mining, uh, full resolution, no compression. So as a photographer, I know when my husband saves our images, he doesn't want it to be compressed. Um, you know, if you upload something, many of you probably, most of your um, images live in Facebook. Well, if that's where you're, you know, you think you're saving most of your memories, those photos that you upload to Facebook are compressed. And then when you go to bring them back down, they're not gonna be high quality. So if you wanted to print them um, from your, say your Facebook account, they are compressed and probably won't print very well. So again, the homepage goes over, or preserve and organize goes over features, uh, what you can do with your storage account. And then when you go down to the bottom, it will get into pricing. So say you don't know, well, how many, how much do I need to start out with? Um, down towards the bottom, it will give you an idea if you have, say, 5,000 to 12,000 photos on your phone or on your computer, a lot of people like to start out with a 25 gigabyte account. And again, when I say you purchase once and you own it, you can purchase it, own it forever, or um, forever makes it a little more, you know, um, aff affordable for those of you who might want to make a payment plan over a year for a forever account. And then once you've paid that year, you don't have to pay again for the for the storage. It's yours. You own it forever. Um, we have some clients that know they have tens of thousands of images. This is where they want to house their images for the rest of their life, pass down to their children. And you can even go up to some lo much larger storage accounts. And again, permanency, you will always have access to these images. Um, you can always download, upload, save. Um, so a lot goes into preserving and organizing uh, your photographs in forever. The next tab is digitize, which is also known as conversion. So when you go into digitize, one of our most popular items is the forever box. Many of my clients and friends have started out converting with a forever box. Um, you have old VHS tapes. I know I've um, converted old slides, VHS tapes, our old film reels from when I was a baby. Um, I've sent those in in a forever box to forever. I, it's highly, um, it's safe. They use FedEx, which uses um, tracking. So your, your box is tracked from the moment it leaves your home um, and gets checked in at the, or, you know, FedEx or drop off and it is tracked all the way to delivery in Green Bay, Wisconsin, which is where all of our um, conversion is done. So you have digitize and there's different options you choose. And again, we'll go over this in future trainings on um, how to use a forever box, but there's there are different options there. And then streaming. So when you st upload videos into your forever account, you can upload your videos and they are housed in your forever account indefinitely. Um, you can choose to have them. The videos take up a lot of space, so you can choose to have those compressed um, as they are stored in your account. And streaming allows you to view your videos within your forever account. 
So if you're out and you want to be able to view it on your phone um, or on your desktop within your Forever account, you, this you do need to pay a monthly fee. Um, and, it's, and you can turn it off and on. Some people like to turn it on around the holidays and then turn it off when they're not using it. Um, but you do have a free uh, video account. So again, if I upload a video into my Forever account, I want to show you what it looks like. It will look like this. There will be a thumbnail, but you won't be able to click on it and view the video. You will, but you can al always download videos onto your desktop to view. So it's not that you can't view the videos, you just can't view them um, online in your Forever account. Now, if you have a plan, uh, which is the $11.99 a month, or you buy an annual plan, you can view those videos at any time in your Forever account. And you can also share those videos with family members and friends, and they can view it. They don't have to own um, a video account or even a Forever account to view it. So you can share those videos with friends and family. So you have the two options there. And then, uh, so again, saving those videos. I've had uh, many videos converted. I'm excited. I just sent in our old, uh, our, old uh, our wedding VHS tape to get converted. So that hasn't shown up yet, but it's due before the end of the month. So I can't wait to watch that. I, you know, I haven't watched that since probably our kids were born. So you have stream. Now create and print, this is where a lot of the fun happens. If you love to give photo gifts or print uh, albums or you know photo books, this is where all of that is done. I highly recommend if you tried Shutterfly in the past or Amazon, I don't know if Amazon prints um, books, but I highly recommend you trying forever. And for those of you who have just a two gigabyte account right now, you don't have all of your images saved in your account, you can upload um, say 100 pictures, create a, um, a auto book or a photo book, and then, um, you know, do it that way as well. So you don't have to own a storage account necessarily to use Forever's printing services, but I do highly recommend it because once they're in there, um, they're easy to find, easy to uh, get to for these projects. So we have auto print, design and print, and digital scrapbooking. And again, I'm going to go into these um, in the future, so I'll, I'll, I'll save that for um, future trainings here. And then after create and print, we have digital art. Digital art, um, many of you are familiar with scrapbooking back in the day where we had papers and embellishments and um, so many options to choose from. I know I was a scrapbooker. I had some local moms. We'd get together at a friend's house and do some digital, or not digital, but we would do um, physical scrapbooking. And it was loads of fun. Well, there is an entire world out here. And if you go back to the, uh, create and print of pixels pages, they're called Pixies, um, and they're part of Forever. They design digital scrapbooks, and there is so many amazing options uh, for digital scrapbooking and with the digital art just like when you used to buy paper and embellishments there are now digital um, papers and art and to choose from so just about every day every week there's new designs coming out if you are a scrapbooker and you want to become a digital scrapbooker um, say you want to make a scrapbook for a new baby you just type in baby and then you'll have hundreds of options to use to make a digital book for the new baby. So digital art is the next thing on our ribbon. And then we have club. I love club. I always use it um, because I know I'm always going to spend it with my forever account. Uh, again, if I go back to forever and I want to see what I have for my club account, um, when it comes up here, I am using the 100 Club, and I'll go back and show you what that is. I've already used it for the month of December because I just bought a bunch of gifts before our uh, ground shipping ended, and our deals about we have a 50% uh, off deal on print projects that are that's ending today. So I wanted to make sure I got all of that in. But again, with Club, it's kind of like a little savings account that you have. So each year, each month. If you're a club member, you have that amount put into your forever um, account. And it's so if you're in the 25 
club, it's $25 taken out of your checking account or your credit card and put into your forever account and save there. So if you have something you know you want to save up for, um, say extra storage uh, or a, a photo book that you're going to create, you can, I highly recommend this because not only do you have that money saved up in your account, two more things, you also get 5% off almost everything that you purchase. So in addition to all the deals that Forever has, you will also get a 5% uh, additional discount on almost all purchases. There are some exclusions, but I, it's everything I've bought is just about always been the extra 5% off. And also, depending on what level of club you're in, uh, I, I'm doing the 100 club right now. I started it back in October because I knew over the holidays I would be using it. So each month, $100 is put into my forever account uh, from my checking account. And after three months is up, I will actually get two free gigabytes of storage. So you want to keep a forever account going for at least three months, whether it's a 25, 50, 100, or you could even do the 250, which I don't know why I didn't do that for the holidays because I know. I get most of my gifts and with um, creating lots of albums, um, I'll use that. But you can pick one, get the advantage of the additional 5% off, as well as free, you earn free storage every three months that you keep your forever account going. So that is club. And then all, just about everything forever can do for you. Um, it's a complete memory keeping solution. These are different. I recommend coming to this page for ideas. Um, if you have, you know, you're wondering, oh gosh, I know there's something new I could do. Let's see, let's just pick one. And then you come in here. So there's all sorts of ideas on this all page. Um, and then I tell all of my friends and family when they're purchasing something in forever, don't ever purchase something without coming to the deals tab. So you always wanna check out the deals tab because if you check out, um, say you order a mug for, for someone and you check out and don't capture this code, it won't take the deal off. So you won't get the 50% off. But if that ever happens, again, customer service is amazing. If you hit purchase, you just reach out to customer service and they'll issue you the refund um, instantly. You just say, I forgot to apply the code. So love it. Um, you know, it's not, this isn't a co huge company and some other country that you just can't get a hold of customer service. There's always someone available and also myself. So one of the benefits um, to working with a company that's in direct marketing is that, and this is why I love, because I, I meet so many people this way, um, you know that, so for other ambassadors forever, I've made some great friends, but also um, when you work with a direct marketing company, you usually have someone to always help you out. So you don't have to always worry about customer service um, through the company. You can reach out to your friend that is a ambassador. So again, deals. And then over here we have search. Search is not for when you have a question necessarily. Search is for when you wanna search for a family member. So let's say I know my daughter um, has an account. I just type in her name and I can find her. So this is when you're searching for a person. But if you have a question with Forever, say, um, how do I share a photo? Let's see what it'll bring up. So we'll show you how do you share a photograph. So if you have an Android, an iPhone, um, it, it tells you how to do that. So if you have any questions, you can, again, click on the question mark. You have your card. You have your notification here. So the notifications, if um, it'll say, so I have it to back up my iPhone every day. So it will, um, be, if I take a picture or a screenshot, it will come into my forever account. And then if something's shipped, uh, if someone's become a friend and started using forever, that will be under the bell. And then here is my uh, profile picture. When you click on this profile, and I'll, I'll go ahead and click on it, but I want to uh, wrap up this training. And then the next training, I'll get into what the next ribbon does. So you click on your profile, which usually is your initials, uh, unless you upload a picture there. It will bring in this second layer 
um, of items. So the, we have the library albums. This is where you will be organizing and saving all of your photographs. And we'll get into that next lesson. So thanks so much for joining and I'll see you next time.